I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you watch over people in our community as we continue through these hot periods. We pray that you watch over the, the farmers and all those that have to work in the outdoors, that you can keep them safe. We pray that you watch over the activities of tonight's meeting, that they can be pleasing to you and that they can support the needs of our community. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Reading the approval of minutes from August 2nd, please. Motion to approve the existing reading. Okay, motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Approval of the agenda. Any changes or additions to the agenda? My, my addition is noted as 8C, the application for the transfer merchant license. Okay. 8C, is there we have that? That's on the records that are out for the audience as well? Yes. Okay. Motion to approve the agenda as presented. Motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Stern. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. 5A, engineer's report. Jared, welcome. Thank you. Um, again, not much of the agenda this month. You should all have a copy of our report. Um, we want to get to the sewer tail diving stuff. If you want, you can page to that on the screen here. But just two things, really. In, if you recall, we opened bids in May for the water storage project. There's three contracts. The electrical contract, the underground contract, which we put in the pipe, and then the water reservoir. We'll have a pre-con meeting with all three contractors. But when it comes to approving stuff, we'll actually approve three payments at each meeting. You got to pay them all separately. Um, I coordinate with them to make sure they're coordinated with each other, right? I mean, the underground guy is going to build access road up there. Tank guy will do the work. There's a chance that um, the underground guy will do some of that demolition at the treatment plant this winter. It sounds like he will. That's probably a guarantee. If the tank guy wants to start this fall, which doesn't sound like he does, but there's a chance they might want to do a little site grading up there. I need the underground guy to build the access road, and they're forced to work with each other. So we might be having a pre-construction meeting here late this fall. If we do, it'll be in this room during the day. We'll have a team's option, so if you guys want to tune into it, you can, but it's not an official council meeting. But at that point, we get their schedules. Um, I have to ask for you guys to write or approve an agreement for engineering services for the construction engineering. We won't do that until we have their schedules, though, because I expect most of the work will be done next year. But that's just something that's coming. No approvals other than um, when we approved the three contracts, we did go back to the State Water Commission and ask for additional funding. That meeting was last Thursday. Both Jerry and Monty were on that call. Um, it's kind of a marathon meeting, State Water Commission, but we got to the end of it and um, they did approve your request for additional funds. So um, we got the full 60% cost share for all the work we're planning to do. Um, now that was that was good news. Um, so beyond that, um, no approvals. Just expect construction to start maybe late this fall, most likely next spring, and um, we'll, we'll be due to pay the contractor some payments um, probably at the earliest next spring. Any questions on the water tank stuff? No? Okay. All right. So the other thing you guys had me do was. You had Pace do some televising in town, and they did three areas. Um, this first area is um, clay pipe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but this is the area underneath the church parking lot. I think this is the first one we had televised. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the reason for that was just because they were doing a concrete parking lot. We wanted to look at the sanitary line. Um, looks a lot like your other clay pipe in town and clay pipe that we look at everywhere. Clay pipe from this era, they're all four foot long chunks, so they have a ton of joints. And so, kind of see these joints right here? 
the, the one pipe has moved and this one hasn't. Generally, stuff flows through there, but there's a lot of obstructions, a lot of spots for places to catch. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, at some point, you know, this would be a good candidate for lining, which is where you don't dig it up. You just insert a new pipe inside the old pipe. You don't mine one block at a time, no. You know, when you do it, you do a sizable project. You got about 50 blocks of clay. You televised a bunch of them, um, but not all of them. So I would say, you know, as we go, you know, maybe next year you do another chunk of blocks. Um, but kind of, I mean, there's a little risk in doing nothing because at some point the pipe could collapse. You see there's cracks in it. But generally, they don't move very much very fast. Um, but I would feel fairly confident that, you know, we can wait years on this stuff and, and you know, doing a 20 block or 40 block or 50 block lining project, the cost per block just goes down so much further. And you know, take your time, watch for funding, you know, get prairie hog funds or COVID money. And those would be good uses for those funds <coughs> someday. The other two blocks, one was PVC and it was Full of ruts. They had a horrible problem with that. They cleaned that out. The pipe looks to be in really good shape. And which which were those? That was up by Barrel Rum. Sounds like coming down by past Barrel Rum. You, you guys must have had trouble with it, right? What we were flushing okay. for the ruts, just getting the water low and draining or whatever. So they cleaned it out good, and that one's working now. So recommend no changes there. And then the third line was that block that we have the six inch asbestos cement pipe. Very, very sure that that was a water main at one time. You guys put a manhole on that line a few years ago mm -hmm. so that we could access it, so that we could send the TV or the, the camera down it. So at least now we can access it and can clean it. But it's still a clay pipe and it's six inch. That when we do something at some point, you know, that's going to have to be on the list because clay pipe, or excuse me, asbestos cement pipe, is, it's not made for sewer. And the sewer gases will, will eat it up eventually. And so whenever it's time to do a sewer job, like a lining job or a slip lining job, we want to make sure this block is a part of it. So I would say all in all, no real recommendations at the moment. Just keep it on your radar that someday there should be a, a rehabilitation project. And this map on the back page here shows you Majority of your system is blue, which is PVC, and then the red blocks are the clay or other types of pipe. And then the yellow on here shows you which ones you guys have televised since about 2007. So we're, we're most of the way there, but I would say just keep gathering data and when the time is right, hopefully before any major trouble, look at doing something. I was just going to leave it on the bottom of my report here for, I've already got, you know, Fifth Street sewer stuff on there, so I'll just leave, you know, leave it on there. And if I see a funding opportunities, I'll bring them to you. But I don't think, like if you had a capital improvement plan, it doesn't have to be done in the next two years. Mm -hmm. It's just when you have a good chance to do it, it'd be a nice, you know, much cheaper than replacing it to the project. That's all I have. I was going to just stick around, though, for the meeting. Anybody have anything <coughs> for me? Thank you. Yes. Thank All right. Thank you, guys. All right. 8B, or 8A, I'm sorry. Condemnation hearing update on the Winkler property of Ben Levin Central. Uh, the, the notice of hearing was served on them on August 6th. I'm not sure if Corey Winkler signed for it personally. I didn't do restricted delivery, so, but uh, Dave did visit with someone who was interested in helping clean that up. But if they can get a hold of that trailer frame for little or nothing, they'll help clean clean up the area and, and get it out of there. I uh, don't have a decent picture. they had started to get it out 
And it looks like the hitch is still on there, but it is so buried in the back end here that I think they were having issues trying to pull it out. So that's why I had wanted them to appear today was to update us on that so we could possibly set a deadline for them to have it done or we would do it and assess it back to them. I, I can keep trying to get a hold of them. And do you want to set a, some type of deadline mid-September for that to be gone or we or we do it? It's already been condemned and he's done most of the work. But Does that include the vehicles too, Monty? Yes, that included the vehicles. Are they gone to be already? No, there's still a couple of them there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think we should uh, draw a line in the sand. Okay. And then just confirm we get delivery of the notification and go from there. I think what I'll do is redo the notice for another date and have the sheriff's department serve it. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Our next meeting is the 20th of September. Is that too soon? Well, better, better even if we did it this September 6th or 7th, whenever your meeting is. They are still attempting to serve that other one on that property on 4th Avenue Northwest and change that date to the 6th or 7th. So do both. Try and do them both that night. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I will work on that. Okay. All right, 8B. Building permit with variance for mark action. We all have a copy of that here. Yeah, Mr. Atchin had contacted me about adding on to his garage. Currently, there's a 30 foot setback on that for that zoning district. He is currently 38 feet from the property line. He would like to build an additional 18 feet, so he would need a 10 foot variance to the front of his property. And I can you know, let him explain. I got from the end of the garage to the end of the curb, it's like 46 foot. And so, uh, so once I build that 18 foot, you still have 28 feet, but to, your, uh, to the end of my property would be 20 foot instead of 30. Big what are some of the other variances we've given over there in Monty? I don't know that we've given any variances over there that I could find. Okay. I, I haven't had any requests other than oh, for that's the right. sheds. That's right. We've done the sheds in the backyard right. and we've given variances. I think Dennis Cahoon was asking if you were to build over there. Yeah. He was looking for it too. That didn't right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The only other ones have been for the little shed. Questions from Mark? Anybody? So the variance is just from from the front of the the addition onto the front of the garage to the to the front to the street. the street. Yes. And that you'd be adding on a thirty foot garage, Mark? No. Yeah, eighteen foot out. It'll be thirty two foot as wide as the garage is. Okay. Yeah, it's 18 feet on the east side, 20 on the west side because it has that little jog. Make a motion to accept the variance as you presented. Motion by Phil. Second. Second by Walt. Discussion. Roll call. Miller. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hovenauer. No. Motion passed. Build away. Um, something will be 
you have to till next year. Okay. I got to get contracted and everything else. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. here now he just got here what this is for make sure they stand up or how does it go here stand up yeah. <laughs> stand up and tell us your name and what what what's your well my name is uh, Christian I'm a Polish student from Europe uh, doing my summer program here with uh, Southwestern Advantage Company and by my understanding uh, Kids like me have been uh, in the area before as well, hopefully. And uh, what I'm doing is here, uh, well, uh, showing educational books and apps uh, to the families. And the books are like from uh, little ones, like preschoolers, all the way up to like high schoolers. So there's like different books and apps and stuff like that. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And I've been out in the countryside uh, past two weeks already. Met some pretty cool families. And uh, I don't know if anybody has already heard about me as well or no. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> and uh, that's what I'm doing. And now I'm planning uh, to do a uh, city of Kaysen as well. And for that, I came in to, to do the permit. And if I get it, then I can do the city here as well. Great. Thank you. Thank you. He does have the state transient permit he did uh, the company did submit the bond for them to be in town according to our ordinances okay. and we've had this before educational yes. yeah um, Ardo Ardo answer or something yeah cool. several yeah. years ago yeah. With, yeah he's actually my uh, well I know him since first grade <laughs> and by happens we ended up doing I knew know the guy more than 20 years now. <coughs> hey, we have, need a motion to approve this uh, application. So moved. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Do you need roll call, I think? Yeah. Roll call, please. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hiller. Aye. Obenauer. Aye. Security. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> And Christian, I'll get you a formal document permit and email it to you. Uh, oh, okay. I can go in tomorrow. I or if you want to stop in the morning, that's fine too. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Reports, water, sewer. Nothing to report at this time. Streets, cemetery. Anything, Dave? No. Other than lack of paint? Lack of paint and lack of rain to cut grass. So that's kind of come. When we start doing maintenance on trucks, get everything ready for winter. Start checking out. Weeds don't stop growing, but grass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Certain weeds are. It's crazy. The only good thing is I only had to fill my gas cans once this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Finance, busing, library. Oh, they think it's time. Okay. Please fire, Nancy. I have nothing. And HCD, Buster. Uh, the only thing I'm going to share with you is I'm heading over to deal on Thursday and have a powwow with Weaver. Talk about some area kinds of things. I did I did, I did sit in on a coal webinar uh, through the Recovery Act that possibly there could be some dollars available for some things in future planning. You know, and, and not uh, not necessarily small amounts of dollars, big dollars, and I anticipating that we would be eligible because from what I could read is we're kind of right in the heart of some of that. And of course, uh, you know, in the past, uh, a lot of that stuff was filtered out to the East Coast, you know, to Pennsylvania and West Virginia where they had the underground mines and those type of things. but. Uh, so uh, we'll look at that a little bit more and probably uh, discuss uh, uh, maybe some uh, future plans, I think, about the direction we might want to go and get those types of things. 
Sure. So we'll see. it's going to be kind of an open, open table type of thing. Any questions? We still full of earth binary requirements? Yeah. Good. Okay, any questions for Buster? Thanks, Buster. Yeah. Under my report doing, I wanted to just mention is that Monty brought to my attention the day that the Mercer County Regional Landfill will be raising their tipping fees. Right now, we're, we're charged $35 a ton, and they're raising them to $40 a ton. That takes effect when, Monty? January 1. January 1. So last year, we kind of adjusted our rates a little bit, and we didn't expect a $5 raise in tipping fees. So. We'll have to keep an eye on them, maybe look at some type of adjustment, either mid-year or for 22. Okay. All right, take us down to new business, uh, 12, 12A, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield Dental Vision Renewal. Uh, told some of you we did send out a survey because there were some differences between the Blue Cross Blue Shield and MetLife Dental Vision. Uh, the MetLife basically has different rate schedules for single, single plus dependent, married, married with children, not the movie commercial, but uh, the, re the responses were basically to stay with the Blue Cross Blue Shield. So we do have the renewal paperwork. Basically their rates are static. There was a slight decrease actually in the Blue Dental Elite. So from what we're paying now, the other ones stayed stay constant. This is a renewal for October 1st. We don't renew the health until January 1st. So I guess if we want to continue with Blue Cross Blue Shield Dental Vision, I we'll need your, your blessing to submit the paperwork. And that's what our employees that responded back wanted. Yep. Okay. So moved. Motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Pillar. Aye. Stern. Aye. Wolf. Well, Aye. Owen Hour. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. 12B, uh, KDKT's radio advertising. They want to know if the city of Hazen wants to have one of these options as advertisements during their, during, during the football season. Just football season. season. 225 for the basic sponsorship or $100 um, for just the games. I mean, it's a nice idea, but the city really doesn't sell anything, so I'm not sure how effective advertising is for us. Unless, unless we had room in the Pioneer Apartments, which we don't have, so. But even that would fall under the jurisdiction of the, that entity yeah. versus the city. Exactly. I would say we leave up to those organizations that have paybacks. Okay. Right. And moving down to C, uh, meeting date change then on uh, Labor Day weekend. The 6th is a holiday? No, the 5th is the holiday. So, September 6th is the holiday. Oh, 6th is the holiday. Six is. So that's Monday. So we can change it to Tuesday or Wednesday. I, I like Tuesday better than Wednesday. Kissy. Wednesday could work better, but I can make Tuesday work. I can either work. It doesn't matter. Is there anything on the other calendar that's. Yeah, I would mean, it's not too bad, day, but Wednesday would be the music in the park hmm. prior to. Yeah, and the last one of the year. The harvest. Yeah. Wednesday would be. Seven. Wednesday would be that. Okay. All right. Then let's. If we can move to Tuesday, if you make case, okay. All right, we'll change it to Tuesday, the sixth. Seven. 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 I'm sorry. Six the holiday. Great. Uh, moving down to approval of the bills. Need a couple more on the desk. On the table. Motion to approve. 
Bon, tu m'as bon Ça fait. Ça lui va être heureux. Discussion. All in favor say aye. Two. Two. Do it. Roll call. Well, aye. Miller. Aye. Stern. Aye. Open hour. Aye. I don't care. They started thinking about the census and then that last one you put in the bond. Same result, different rule. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Thank you. That was an interesting report. Thank you for sending that off.